Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Maybe your boss right now is in his office thinking about that great big huge raise he's going to give to you because of all of the AutoCAD tips you know. <laughs> it could happen, crossing my fingers for you, <laughs> maybe. And uh, today I'm gonna share with you yet another tip. It's gonna make you even smarter. It's gonna help you be more efficient. It's a tool that came out inside of AutoCAD 2016 but I find that most people don't know about it. It's top secret, apparently. It's gonna save you lots of time if you do dimensioning, and let's face it, come on, everybody does dimensions, right? Almost everybody. So I'm going to go to the Annotate tab in the ribbon, and this is the awesome, amazing, one-stop shop dimension tool. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click. You can still do the old dimensions, right? This is what you probably are all doing. You are working way too hard if you are using those. I'm gonna click on the dimension tool and I can do all different types of dimensioning in here. I don't even have to tell AutoCAD what kind of dimensioning I want to do. It is psychic. It's gonna know. <laughs> now I want you to see that I am in this kind of dim mode. I'm not talking about my brain. I'm talking about the, if you look at the command line. And so while I'm in here, all the commands are going to fall under this one great big huge dim mode command. That is very important. You'll see why later. Okay. If you want to get out of it, escape, extra enter, easy, easy to get out. Do not confuse it. For some of you who are AutoCAD veterans with the dim mode that existed a long time ago. This is a new, updated, hip and trendy dim mode. I need to do some dimensions. Look how easy it is. I just have to hover over any object and I can put a dimension on there. I'll zoom up a little more so you can see. Maybe I want to dimension that. Maybe I want to dimension this. It knows if I want to do aligned or horizontal or vertical. I don't have to tell it anything. I just have to click and pick where I want the dimension to go. So easy. All right, now, if you just want to dimension part of a line, part of an object, you can still click two different points. Um, but if you want to dimension the whole object, it's literally one pick to select it and the second pick to pick, put where you want the dimension line to go. Very easy. What if I want to do an angular dimension? What then? Well, if you select two objects which are not parallel to each other, AutoCAD is brilliant and psychic and smart and it knows that you want to do an angular dimension. Oh yeah. So you can easily just place that wherever you want it to go. You can also see if you take a look at the command line, in dim mode, there are a whole bunch of other options for you as well. I'm kind of pretty much just going with the defaults, but you can completely override it. Lots of options at the command line there. So what if I want to do radial dimension or diameter dimension? No problem. Select an arc or circle, and it's very easy to place a radial or to place a diameter. You know, I want to do diameter, but it's not letting me do it. Can you see that? No problem. I can just come down here and I can... I can just come down here and click on, sorry, <laughs> click on diameter and I can switch it from radial to diameter. It's very easy, very, very easy. Once again, keeping your eye down here on the command line. All right, I'm gonna do a U for undo and you will see that it undoes the last dimension. Correct? As you would expect. I mentioned to you that we are in a great big huge dim mode, right? If I hit an escape to get out and then I do an undo, something very different happens. <laughs> All of my dimensions that I just placed in dim mode disappear. They're all undone. Okay, so that's a key piece of information. Those, this is something that we all learn the hard way. You'll do it once and you'll go, oh no, that's not what I wanted. You could always redo it and then you can just delete the dimension you don't want anymore. But just giving you a little bit of heads up there. So the dim mode is kind of like one great big, huge, awesome, fabulous, dimensioning command. I'm gonna let you do them all, one stop shop in one tool. So next, in the, next time you see me in a couple weeks, I'm gonna show you the rest of this awesome one stop shop tool because oh yeah, there's way more to it to, than that. But give it a try, it's super easy, it's gonna save you lots of time and that's what it's all about. So you can get that raise. All right, I'll see you back here in two more weeks. Have a great rest of the day.